Welcome to the Continuum Lab. Let's say, for argument's sake, that you're making a wind instrument MIDI controller. Good on you, that's a great idea. I'm here to help. The first thing that you need if you're going to make a MIDI wind instrument, of course, is a breath sensor. Now, there are some commercial air pressure sensors available, but not all of them are suited for this. Some of them are quite expensive, and of course, they're not as much fun as making our own. So forget about those, let's make one. We'll need some basic materials. Let's get a plastic water bottle, a white balloon, a rubber band, and a bit of cardboard. Finally, we'll need the sensor component itself. I'm going to use this simple CNY70 sensor module, which I developed for my MIDI instrument builds. I explained how this module works in an older video. The link is in the description. We're going to cut off the top of the water bottle, leaving a little bit of the slanted part. Then we'll make a small hole on the side between this edge here and the threads for the lid. That's for the air pressure to escape through so that we can blow continuously. Next we'll apply the balloon material as a membrane and fix it in place with the rubber band. There. That's the basic pressure chamber for our breath sensor. Looking good. The membrane is very responsive, so that should work nicely. Now I'll use the cardboard to make a simple structure over the pressure chamber so that I can fix the sensor module at a set distance from the balloon membrane. The cardboard will also help to avoid ambient light messing with our readings. The final thing is to plug the sensor module in. I'm going to read it using my Teensy LC breakout board, which is really easy to use for this because it has USB MIDI output. So then I plug the USB into my computer and upload a bit of test code to the Teensy. You can find this code on GitHub, there's a link in the description. And now I'll open up my software synth and try it out. That works great. It's very sensitive, it's quite responsive and the bottle end solution here kind of makes it feel like you're playing maybe some kind of brass instrument just because of the sensation of this ring here on your lips. But what if I wanted to make a different kind of mouthpiece and then transfer the air pressure from there and into the pressure chamber? Well, that's actually really easy. Check it out. Just get the original lid from the bottle and make a hole in it like this. Then you get a food grade silicone tube, slightly larger than the hole you just made and you assemble everything together like this. And now you have an attachment that you can connect to your mouthpiece or just use it as is. Nice! If you'd like to follow along in these videos to make your own MIDI controllers and DIY sensors, then you'll be very happy to hear that I am going to be selling a DIY kit stocked full of all of the components and materials that I use in my videos. Uh, it's going to be called the Continuum Lab Instrument Kit, or CLICK for short. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss that, then you should definitely subscribe right here in the Continuum Lab YouTube channel, and also find me over on Instagram, also as Continuum Lab. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Take care until next time, and I'll see you in the Continuum.